What's up guys, uh, Shira and Numb, this is actually a remake of one of my old commentaries, but the old commentary sucked ball tits, so I decided to revamp it and make a whole new, better, detailed story than before. Too bad you can't watch the old video because I deleted it. Nah, I probably didn't. I'm pra, 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 pra. I'll probably delete it tomorrow so you can go watch how bad it was, but yeah. So, I met this girl in my 8th grade year at this new middle school I was attending because my mom decided to move because she was being a noob. So we moved over here and it sucks balls still and I hate everyone over here besides her because she is the bomb. So I met her in my gym class and she took me by surprise. Like her presence was just a blessing in like so many ways. Like I, oh my god, I fell in love when I first laid out on this girl. Like, her little chonga hair, her little chonga eye shadow, her little chonga 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 this, chonga that, chonga booty, chonga tit, everything, man. This girl was straight up chonga. Nah, she wasn't, but she was beautiful. Like, I, man, if you guys, you ever just saw, it's like looking at a booty, right? Like, you just fall in love with her booty and just want to know everything about the booty, right? That's exactly how I felt. Like, her body was like a big old, nice, Spanish, Brazil booty, or well, Brazilian booty to me, right? It was just just beautiful so i got well acquainted with her shortly after a while we started um texting you know hanging out in gym class i tried my best to impress this girl so she can be with me so many times and since school was ending like this happened like the last semester of school and like it wouldn't work out during the summer because we're kids you know she probably meet somebody i probably meet somebody but knowing my forever alone kid cuddy type ass i wasn't gonna find nobody right Shouts out to Cuddy. I love you, dog. So I wasn't gonna find anybody, but shortly after she did when summer, uh, when school, when school ended, but I didn't, uh, it's a long story about me not attending my graduation and all this bullshit. So yeah, um, she actually gave me a, my first kiss on the cheek, actually. So how that happened was she made a bet with our mutual friend at the time, and she lost the bet. So our mutual friend told me it was like Lady Zosh. We're gonna call her Lady Zosh, the girl I like, or well, who thought it was beautiful. We're gonna call her Lady Zosh. So. Our mutual friend was like, Lady Zosh, want to kiss you on the cheek because she lost a bet. And I was like, cool. So, this happened like three weeks after I started I started to know this girl. And as I started to know Lady Zosh. So, at the end of the school, well, at the end of the day of school, I was walking her to her bus. And she's like, I got to give you something. I was like, what? With a surprise look on my face. And she just reached up and gave me a kiss on the cheek. And was like, well, I lost the bet, so I had to. Now, I know that sounds bad that a girl got to kiss me on the cheek because she lost the bet. But I don't give a shit. I got my first kiss on the cheek. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna. Uh, freak it. I was. I accepted it. I was like, yes. And I went home. My mom was like, what's on your cheek, boy? And I was like, I got a kiss on the cheek by a girl, mom. It's my dream girl too. She's like, oh my god, my baby ain't gay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm like, really, dog? You think I was gay? Because the reason my mom think I was gay is because no homo. I have an arched back with back dimples and a fat ass. Like, I know that should sound gay as hell. Like on some fucking. Tony, well, who's a gay dude? I don't know. I was going to say Frank Ocean, but I'm tired of using his name in vain. But, uh, yeah, so she thought I was gay because I had an arched back, and I guess uh, I, I had a fat ass, I guess. I don't know. She was gay as hell. So after that happened, um, freshman year started, right? So we, we didn't talk all of uh, summer because I didn't text her. She didn't text me. We got into like, this argument about some she liking my cousin or some bullshit. But after that happened... Summer, I mean, so after summer ended, school started, and we weren't talking still. I didn't go to open house because our mutual friend at the time was like, Percy, you going to open house to see her? And I was like, nope. I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. Yeah, my lying ass. So, <laughs> after school started, I seen her for the first time in like three months, and my heart just dropped, and my eyes got all melty with hearts, like the emoji, and it was just love at first sight, I guess, all over again, and I just fell in love with this girl all over again, and... We started talking, and shortly after a while, we started dating, and our official date was 8-31-2010, so that was like, what, 10 days after school started? We started dating again, and then, yeah, we've been together all of freshman year, we broke up sophomore year, got together junior year, and we stayed together till senior year, until like January of this year, 2014, we broke up for like five probably four or three months and then we got back together and we're still together to this day so we are officially high school sweethearts said i cannot get a what what so yeah man i only dated one girl in my whole entire life basically and yeah i'm still with this girl today so i can officially say i love her yeah i love her a lot because lady zosh is my lady but yeah thank you guys for watching i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary i'll probably revamp a lot of my old commentaries to make them sound better and yeah so uh yeah i love you guys thank you for watching i'm out peace